Mr. Gazinski here. I was looking at this problem. And I was thinking about all the different ways I could I could answer it and, and solve it. And I, I just wanted to share it with you. So kind of a freebie here. Negative write negative five x plus four y plus three equals zero in slope intercept form. So to, to write something in slope intercept form, I just need to figure out what the what the slope is and what the y intercept is. So y equals mx plus b, right? So we just got to figure out what M is and we got to figure out what B is. Like how I get that, it really doesn't matter. Um, let's try by, you know, manipulating the equation a little bit. Maybe I'll, I'll add 5X to both sides. And I'll add 5X over here. So what would that be? Oops, I don't like the fact that I'm using red because I want that for my slope. Okay, so let's go uh, add 5X to this side. Add 5X to this side. That's going to give me y, 4y plus 3 equals uh, 5x, because 0 plus 5x is just 5x. And then uh, I'm going to subtract 3 from this side and from this side. That'll give me 4y equals 5x minus 3. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And I'll have this thing in, in intercept form or slope intercept form. It's going to be y equals 5 fourths x minus 3 fourths. There, did it. That's probably the most efficient way to do it as you get fast at this stuff. Um, but let's do it a different way. 5 fourths for the slope and negative 3 fourths for the y-intercept. Let's do it another way. I cloned this page. Oh, yeah, there we go. So let's do it another way. Ah, sorry. Here we go. Uh, maybe we start solving for y, but we kind of mess things up. Let's uh, I'm gonna do things a little bit more. A little, a little bit more at a time this time. Let's add 5x and subtract 3 all at the same time. Add 5x and subtract three from both sides okay so what would that look like that would give us four y equals five x minus three we've been here before but let's say that you end up with this which is not intercept form but you, you don't really know what to do with it beyond that well let's go to the calculator and let's go to y equals and we'll put five x Minus 3 is our numerator, and we'll divide that all by 4, and I'll hit the graph button. And I'll, I'll maybe look, oh, look at there. Graphically, I just found that the y-intercept is negative 0 0.75, also known as negative 3 fourths, which was the same thing we got the last time, right? Um and then maybe I'll go to, so like that's the point zero, negative 0 0.75. Okay, then let's go to another point. Let's go to one, enter, and I get 0. 0.5. So one and 0. 0.5. Okay, so there's another point. And then I might use the slope formula and I might go, okay, every time X goes up one, what's happening to Y? Let's see, let's see, 0. 0.5 minus negative 0. 0.75. So that was an increase of 1.25. Well, guess what? That's M. M equals 1.25 over 1, or just 1.25. And guess what 1.25 is as a fraction? It's 5 fourths. So, I mean, there's there's a complicated way to use the graph or maybe even the table to get this red number and this green number. Okay, because, yeah, I could have used the table, too. There's my points. You know, you could use other numbers in this table, too. You could go, okay, as it goes from 1 to 3, it went up 2.5. As X went up from 1 to 3, it went up from 0.5 to 3. Okay, well, 2.5 divided by 2 is 1.25. Okay, let's do it another way. How about, um, how about we make a table? And we don't use, 
the calculator like at all. But I just I want to know if x is zero, what's y, and if x is one, what's y? Okay, let's do it. So I'm just going to take this equation and I'm going to plug zero into it. Negative five times x plus four y plus three equals zero. All right, negative five times zero is zero. Okay, so I don't even know why I wrote it. Just get rid of it. Subtract 3 from both sides. And then divide both sides by 4. There, I got this y value. When x is 0, y is negative 3 fourths. Look familiar, guys? Negative 3 fourths. Negative 3 fourths. Okay. Now, let's do it again. Uh, and this time, let's... Let's put 1 into the equation. Okay, so we'll do negative 5. Instead of times 0, we'll do times 1. Plus 4y plus 3 equals 0. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. Negative 5 plus the 3 is negative 2. And then we'll add 2 to both sides. And then we'll divide both sides by 4. And get 1 half. Okay. So, got those values. Okay, so now i got that y-intercept. And again, we can just do slope. What happens here? As x went up 1, what happened here? 1 half minus negative 3 fourths is 1.25. Math, enter, enter. It's 5 fourths. There's our 5 fourths again. So I plug these numbers in, 0 and 1. I could have plugged in any numbers, but 0 makes sense because I want to know the y-intercept anyway. Okay, and, and look, I got, I got the green number I wanted, negative 3 fourths, and I got the red number I wanted, 5 fourths. It's the same thing we've gotten the other times. Um, I don't know. I can't really think of another way to do it. I think that works. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Just think about things in different ways. Use your calculator. Use your algebra. Use your number skills. Okay? You just got to find slope and you got to find y-intercept. All right. Have a good one.